Are the LA Rams making a surprising move that could shake up their defensive line? With two new additions coming in, fans are buzzing about what this means for the team's chances this season. Could this be the spark the Rams need to turn their defensive struggles around? Stick around as we dive deep into how these changes could reshape the defensive front and what it means for the Rams' playoff aspirations. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button to stay on top of all things Rams. Hold on to your seats, Rams fans! The front office just made waves with some unexpected roster moves that could change everything for our defense. With the activation of a key player from injury and a familiar face joining the squad, what does this mean for our chances against the competition? Are the Rams gearing up for something big? Join me as we break down these crucial changes and what they could mean for our playoff hopes. Make sure to subscribe and leave a like to keep up with the latest Rams news. Rams Nation, it's time to get excited! The team has just bolstered its defensive line with not one, but two significant roster moves that could redefine our season. What does the return of a versatile player and the signing of a former starter mean for our defense? Are we finally addressing those critical gaps that have been plaguing us? Stick around as we unpack the implications of these moves and how they might just propel us into contention. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video to catch every update on our beloved Rams. Alright, Los Angeles Rams fans, let's dive right into the latest roster moves that have shaken things up on our beloved team's defensive line. Now, I know you're all feeling the pressure after seeing the struggles our defense has endured this season, especially with stopping the run, making tackles, and covering receivers. It's been a tough road for us, no doubt about it. But let's focus on the recent developments that could change the trajectory of our season. First off, we've activated defensive tackle Laryl Murchison from injured reserve. This guy's 6 foot 2, 285 pounds, and while he may not be the flashiest pass rusher, he brings versatility to the table. He can slide around the defensive front, helping both in run defense and pass protection. And let's be honest, after witnessing our struggles up front, we could use all the help we can get. This is a strategic move, a necessary reinforcement that I believe could pay dividends as we head deeper into the season. Now, let's talk about D. Jonah Williams, who's coming back to us from the Vikings practice squad. Williams was a starter for us last season and has the potential to make a significant impact. Standing at 6 foot 5 and weighing 275 pounds, he's got the size and the skill set to be a game changer. But here's the kicker, he fills our 53-man roster, which means we might need to make another move if we want to bring back DB Darius Williams. That's a tight squeeze, folks, and it could lead to some tough decisions in the coming weeks. But I have to ask you, Rams fans, are these the moves we were hoping for? I mean, we're stacking up on defensive linemen with 8 on the roster now, and it's starting to feel a bit excessive for a 3-4 defense. Sure, we want depth, but at what point does it become overkill? It's a valid concern, and I'm sure many of you are feeling the same way. You see, part of me understands the need for additional bodies on the defensive front, especially with our ongoing issues. But another part of me is questioning whether we should have redirected some of that focus towards our inside linebackers or the secondary, which are also in desperate need of attention. It's a balancing act, and I'm honestly divided on whether this was the best decision. What does this mean for our chances? Well, it's hard to say definitively right now. If Murchison can step in and stabilize our run defense while Williams brings that familiarity and experience back to the fold, we might just see an uptick in performance. But we've got to see it on the field. The potential is there, but execution is key. And let's not forget about the emotional roller coaster that comes with being a Rams fan. We've got hopes, dreams, and expectations riding on these players. Every roster move sends ripples through our fan base, some excited, some anxious. So, I want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on these latest moves? 
do you think we're heading in the right direction, or should we have addressed other areas first? I truly want to know. Your opinions matter, and they shape the conversations we have as fans. So, drop your comments down below and let's debate this together. Did the front office make the right call, or is this just a band-aid on a much larger problem? I want to hear your frustrations, your hopes, everything. And before you go, don't forget to hit that like button, share this video with fellow Rams fans, and subscribe to the channel so you never miss an essential update. Trust me, you want to activate that notification bell to stay in the loop with all things Rams. We're in this together, and I can't wait to see where this season takes us.